I'm here to show you the new Hot Trio Photoshop pack for Photoshop, obviously. This, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> hey guys, Gavin Syme here, and I'm gonna show you the new Hot Trio action pack for Photoshop today. This is the simplest, fastest, most amazing little action pack you've probably ever used. It's really a one, two, three, retouch, skin, cinematic color, and it's designed to give you a toolkit that's really fast and efficient. The, the toolkits like Loomis and Alchemist that go deep and give us tons of options, they're great. And they allow us to do an infinite number of things. But sometimes you want a toolkit that just works right now and gives you an amazing look without, without any hassle. Oh, I'm, I'm wasting time talking about it. Let's go take a look. Uh, right here we have the, the Red Hot Trio. I've got it at the top and I'm going to switch it to button mode. Now, you'll see I have other actions like Loomis and Alchemist installed, but Red Hot Trio is those three red ones right at the top, one, two, and three, and they're designed to be that simple. This action here is an instructions. Uh, and then we have a couple modifiers down here, but the three main effects are right there. Let's not waste any time though, let's, let's just run it. The first thing I'm gonna do since this is a portrait is I'm gonna start with the skin. Now, uh, the hot skin is a powerful effect and what it uses is frequency separation techniques. The first thing you wanna do with a good skin retouch, if it's needed, it's not always, and really it may not even be needed here, but if you have any larger blemishes or marks or pimples or stretch marks or anything like that that you wanna get out, deal with those first. You don't want to have to try and blur those out. And so it's just a really quick process. You go through and you look at the skin and you decide, okay, this looks good. Now, Joanna looks great here. There's not a problem with her skin. We don't really need to do much, but you do want to start with that. Let's just run hot skin. Hot skin is a frequency separation tool, but it makes it so simple. And it's just going to run. And like we do with a lot of our actions, the hot trio is going to build this action with all the layers grouped in that just works good out of the box. But then you have all the control inside. So you can see that I've just done a nice pop to the skin and a little bit of smoothing on the skin. But this is way more advanced than that because we can actually go in here and we can turn off or turn up and down the opacity of layers. For example, adaptive skin is, is selecting the highlights of the skin and actually adding in some color into those highlights and in other highlights of the image. You can, of course, mask that or change the opacity or turn it off entirely if you don't want. The glow, you can turn on or off. It looks good here. You can turn it up or down. That's a bit too much, but you get the idea. So you can run this out of the box or you can just use it as is. Now the, the skin pro down here, this is an auto masking feature and it's really powerful. You can of course, like on any of our actions, click on any mask and adjust it. White paint reveals, black conceals. But this actually auto masks to keep the skin and the halos down because that's a common problem with frequency separation smoothing. Look right here, you can see that out of the box, there's a nice softening, just kind of smoothing out the skin, but retaining the detail. That's because frequency separation is a technique that uses the surface detail layer to maintain the detail and the blur layer to smooth underneath. The beauty of this is you can use it as is, or you can click this layer that says blur more here if needed. Just go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and you can adjust that blur to your heart's content. Now, this is way too much, obviously. We're kind of smoothing everything into the gray tones. Normally, you're probably gonna use it as is, or maybe add seven or 10 more pixels, or whatever it is until you get the smoothness on the surface that you're looking for. Let's add a little bit more to this, but just look at our before and after on this, because we're smoothing the skin, but we're retaining that natural look. It's not turning to plastic. This one finishes by putting a group on top that's hidden. When this finishes, we have a black mask, but our brush is selected. All we have to do, this is especially for eyes and any other areas that you need detail enhanced, like the hair, but it's really good for the eyes. And just like the other actions, you can expand it down. You can double the boost to add a little more shadow boost to those eyes. You can also look at these optional layers in here where you can paint, for example, a cool paint. It's masked out, but if we paint white on that mask, it's gonna bring a little bit of color for example, into the eyes, bring some blue color, or you can bring some warm color. You can also take the main mask and you could paint a little detail on the hair. Let's turn the opacity down a little on that and just bring a little bit of detail into that. And then we finish, if you want, you can use any combination of these with Cinemize. This is a really powerful action. That's kind of an all-in-one, almost like our emulsion actions where it runs, it gives you a beautiful effect out of the box, but there's tons of options. And I'm gonna show you how to use those in just a minute, but let's see how it looks just organically and wow.
It's really cool. It really has a nice filmic cinema kind of look. Now, of course, you can mask it. You can adjust the opacity overall, up or down. So I'm just going to put it about 60% here just to give a nice richness. Beautiful portrait right here. Let's go to another image. It's this fast to do advanced edits with Hot Trio, and that's the beauty of this. It's kind of designed to sit next to advanced collections that have a ton of tools and options like Loomis, like Alchemist. They're really powerful and they work great. Okay, let's move to another image. Here's a neat, sexy little image here. And what can we do with this? Again, let's start with the hot skin. I'm going to look and there's no real big blemishes we need to deal with. She's looking really good, Sondra here. And I'm just going to run hot skin. The beauty of this is Loomis and Alchemist and toolkits like that have a ton of options for controlling tone and light and retouching and all that stuff. And it's really powerful. And and sometimes you want that. I wouldn't want to be without those. The really neat thing about Hot Trio is it allows you to come in and just quickly get a great effect with a lot of options, but without a lot of time and complexity. In this case, it's a little bright. I'm actually going to turn off the glow on this one and just bring back a little more of the natural feel. But let's actually go down here and just look at what some of the layers are doing. The adaptive skin final is helping with the highlights. But I'm going to turn it down just a little bit because you want there to be some dimension. We're already pretty flat, flat lit on this image. Let's go to the settings of the skin, the skin pro. And I'm just going to go to blur and Gaussian and play with what we can do by adding a little more. Now you can see this as I go up, her skin becomes so smooth, maybe too smooth. We want it to be real. So I'm actually just going to leave this at its default setting for this image. Let's run Cinemize. Again, we're back to this Cinemize effect, and this is really powerful. Do not think you just have to run this and leave it alone, because there's a ton of stuff you can do with it. So for example, you'll see that this is our third action. It really gives us some cool color tones, and you can turn those up or down. Sometimes you don't want an actual color tone, right? You don't want people to notice it. And in that case, you might just use Cinemize for a subtle shift in tone and color that people aren't even going to realize. Or you might turn it up. Or you can tweak with layers. You can also use these quick modifiers. Intensify Cinemize basically turns all the layers inside to 100%. Now you could do that manually. You could add optional layers and all that good stuff, right? But it cranks it up. Now that's a bit extreme, but I've turned all the inside layers to 100%. And you see it changed the name to Cinemize Maxed. Now I can actually go in here and I'm just going to turn it way down. So I've increased all those layers, which I could manually turn on and off. Cine Warmer, for example, I could turn off to change the effect, the skin color balance, the color clouds. Every one of these layers we've made to be as simple and descriptive as possible. I could adjust the foggy LUT to change the entire feel of the image. And then I can go up here. Whatever I've done on the inside of the group, I simply can adjust the opacity up or down. Let's go ahead and just do a little bit of eye detail, but her eyes do look really good. I'm just going to run eye in detail to really use the whole trilogy of the Hot Trio here and also to bring just a little more light into those eyes. And I'm going to turn on the double boost layer. And as you can see, it's just bringing a little more sparkle into the eyes. It's a very subtle thing. So we have the combination of these really bold effects with subtle effects. Now I could take this, I could vignette it, I could burn dodge the edges maybe a little bit or tweak around with it. But the point is, we've gone from where? We've gone from this to this in just a moment and we have all this control. Here's another one, here's a neat portrait of Yara. I'm actually gonna come in here and we're just gonna do a quick retouch on the skin, take out a couple of small blemishes here and little marks, we were kinda out in the, out in the field and out in the dirt and let's run hot skin. I know it might seem repetitious or maybe like this is too simple, but that's the whole point of the hot trio. It's a one, two, three, and you can choose one, two, three, or all of the above. And then you can adjust those exactly the way you want. You see how this really makes her skin pop without losing that detail. And it really brings out the portrait abilities. I'm just going to skip the eye in detail for now. And I'm just going to run the cinemize and we're going to see how that looks. And just like that, we have this neat kind of color tint overlay. Now, maybe I don't want it to be extreme. I could dial this way back. So it's just the softest, softest look. Brings some dynamic range into the background and just generally gives us a really nice image. I'm going to go down here to the edge vignette layer. And just to kind of bring the focus on her, I'm going to turn that up to 100. Here's an image that's not a portrait. While the Hot Trio is geared towards being able to make portraits really good, the Cinemize effect alone is worth the price of admission. This is something that I put a lot of experimentation and study in to really make an effect 
that works good. The reason we have to have so many tools is because not all tools work on every image. And the goal of Hot Trio is to be a go-to kit. You can have something that really will add something to any image that you apply it to. Really kind of neat effect. Maybe that's a little bit too much for my landscape. So I can just pop in here and see how I want to adjust it. Maybe I want to turn off this one. Let's, let's see about uh, turning off the blue curve and see if we can bring a little more warmth back into it. Let's go down to the foggy LUT and just dial that back because that does bring kind of a foggy feel to it. So I'm going to turn that way down and just have a little bit from the foggy light LUT. And then I'm going to go to the top and just dial back the overall opacity. And you can see that I just have a really nice enriching effect. It's kind of bringing some warmth, but some detail, HDR cinemize. What this does, and if you look here, it's going to add a new layer at the bottom of all these layers automatically, HDR cinemize. And what it's going to do is leave all the other stuff alone that you've set in there, but it's going to put a dynamic range layer at the bottom that's going to bring in all this dynamic range, which you can then again control. And there you go. So now you see we've added this HDR boost and all these adjustable settings so you can click on any of these smart settings like the dynamic range okay and you can adjust them non-destructively now this is pretty high right now this is too much dynamic range the beauty of this is i can just dial it and this now becomes part of the image and combines with everything else so i can use the add pop to bring contrast but then turn up the hdr boost to balance out the dynamic range again getting the exact look that I want. You can click, click, click and let it do its thing. Or you can adjust and really make a lot of different effects out of one effect, especially once you get to that cinemize effect. Now in here, that all looks pretty good. I'm going to leave it and I'm going to go straight to cinemize on this. Seconds to take a portrait, do skin retouching. I can go in here if there's a problem, if there's some haloing, if I really want to crank up the skin smoothing and it causes an issue, I can always mask it out. I can work some details. I can do whatever I want. On this one, I'm going to turn off the cine warmer because it's almost bringing too much warmth into the image. And then I'm just going to go through and kind of look. I'm going to turn the foggy lot up a little bit to bring a little bit more of a rich richness to it. But I'm going to turn the overall effect down. Here's another version, right? Here's a, here's a more intense version I made. Where's our base version? Right here to right here or to right here. That's how many variations you have with these tools as you keep playing around and adjusting layers. Once more, back to an image that is not a portrait. Um, I might use the detail on this and you could even use the skin effect because the skin effect is still going to affect warm tones. It's still going to affect the softness. So while we geared the hot skin towards skin, obviously, that doesn't mean it's not gonna make a really neat effect. I'm gonna turn it down really low on this one and I'm just going to run Cinemize, and it's going to run that through, which I think is going to look really cool here because we have so much neat color on this image down on the Veracruz coast. And you can see what's happening here. It's actually doing a lot with the sky. So maybe I don't, maybe I don't want so much with the sky, right? Maybe I want to back off with that. Well, I could adjust that foggy light because it's taking those blues and it's really affecting them a lot. Or maybe I really want kind of that rich, deep look, and I want to punch it all the way up. I could also use the Intensify Cinemize and really make it crazy. And then I could dial the whole thing back to bring back the amount of color I wanted because everything is neatly organized in groups. All the control is right there, no matter what type of images you're making, but especially if you just want to get some beauty going on those portraits, smooth that skin really easily and nicely. Okay, guys, hope you like what you saw. You're going to love the hot trio. It doesn't matter what you shoot. This is going to help you edit quickly. It's going to be a little go-to effects pack. Even if you're using Loomis, Alchemist, Signature Emulsion, all those kind of things, this is just a tool that works every time and it works well. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have questions. You can download it and check it out and just enjoy. All right, peace.